DBS community, welcome back to another Dragon Ball video today. And we're going to be going over the red reveals. Uh, they revealed the red leaders for set 13, Supreme Rivalry. So we will go over those. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of these cards down below. Start a discussion if you guys would like. I, um, I know the Bardock, and then obviously I saw the other leader, the King Vegeta or whatever. I just haven't read the card yet. So we have uh, Super Saiyan Bardock. So we'll start with the Unawakened side. Uh, you can't include extra cards with energy cost two or more in your deck. Okay. Um, all of your red Bardock's crew cards in your battle area with energy cost of one have their have their energy and cost increased by two. So every one drop becomes a three drop. Every two drop becomes a four drop. Uh, when this card attacks, choose up to one. Same with an original energy cost of one in your hand and play it. Uh, when your life is at four or less, or you have three or more mono red Saiyan cards in play, you may draw a card, add up the cards from your life until you have four left, then flip this card over. Okay, this is, so the the take life effect, that's a, that's something that's been in the game now for a few sets, I think since set 10, and it's normally down to five or six, so the fact that this goes down to four is a little incredible, because this is a very, um, this is just taking it down to four. Uh, so, so essentially, you're going to draw more. Uh, if you can get three of these uh, these these guys on board. Uh, and then Super Saiyan Bardock, the Legend Awakened. Uh, he's a 15k double strike. This is the typical Saiyan Red Leader where they just give him double strike for no for no apparent reason. Uh, same same permanent as before. When this card attacks, draw a card, then choose one of your Red Saiyans. Energy cost of, original energy cost of one in your hand and play it. That's it. Easy peasies. Oh, all right. So now we have King Vegeta. Um, when this when this card is played in your placed in your leader area, activate up to one young inv young invaders from your deck. When this card attacks, search top five from your deck. Add up to one mono red Saiyan uh, card with energy cost of five or less among them to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. When you or your opponent's life when you or your opponent's life is at four or less, you may draw one. Switch up to one energy to active mode. Add cards to your hand from your life till you have five left. Then flip. So again, with the uh, with the uh, you know the self awakening decks, uh, but also the deck that uh, basically draws you down to um, you know a particular amount. Now, if King Vegeta, head of the Saiyan Rebellion, permanent, reduce the combo cost of all red Saiyan, Saiyan cards with five hundred power in your hand by one. Okay. <laughs> are, are there really five hundred power? Okay. Uh, when this card attacks, draw one. Auto. When the, um, once per turn, when this when the power level of one of your card, battle uh, opponent's battle cards is decreased, use up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 10k for the battle for the turn. Ooh. Okay. All right. We have chain attack Tora. This is the Bardock's crew. He's a one drop bond three blocker. Um. Red Saiyans or Bardock crew cards. Okay, if your leader is a Bardock crew, when this card is played from your hand, at so he only gains blocker if he has, but if you have bomb three. Okay, when this card is played from your hand, add to one Bardock crew card with energy cost of five or less that isn't Tora from your drop area to your hand. You can't play copies of this card for the turn. So it's a one drop that adds a card back from the drop. Um, that's not bad. Five or less. Which I'm assuming is probably most of the archetype, except for maybe if, it, if they have a secret rare, a secret rare, uh, a, a super, a super rare, whatever it's called, SCR. Yeah, that that, that thing. Uh, chain attack, Fasha, Bond three. Um, this card gets so this card becomes a one drop, it's essentially a three drop, 15k, but that um. Also, you need bond three. When this card is played, look up to one, uh, look up top five from the deck, add up to one Bardox crew with energy cost five or less, or red unison with, with a specific cost of two among them, then shuffle. Okay, so you have your searcher that you can play out for free. Oh, so we, we already got an SR, this is good. Uh, SS Bardock Super Saiyan Enlightenment. A unique barrier, X Evolve for one on top of a red Bardock with energy cost of one. Are there any red Bardocks currently? Mm -mm. Not, not, not that I can think of. When this card is played, search top seven, place up to one Bardock's 
crew card among them in the drop area, then shuffle once card attacks, play up to one Bardock's crew with an extra cost of one from your drop area, then choose up to two red sands other than this card and they get 5k power for the turn. Okay, so essentially you can play this card out for one energy because you're gonna you're gonna end up playing out a sand for one ener for free off of your leader off of your leader swing um and then you can evolve into one to get this 20k barrier guy on board who when he, when he plays him you search his top seven you put a bardox crew in the drop area you use um torah to add it back to your hand that's cool that's really cool okay okay King Fujita, Hidden Ambitions, Counter Counter. If your leader and your energy are all mono red and your opponent has three or more energy, negate the counter skill of an extra card with an original cost of one that has activated without playing its that was activated without paying its energy cost and play this card. Huh? Okay. So this is a weird card because this only hits specific things. Um, so this is basically a sparking, this is basically a sparking counter counter. This is basically a sparking counter counter. So outside of Mecha Frieza, who's the only deck in the game who free plays extra cards under two or less. When your opponent activates a negate a sparking negate. We're just going to go across the board. So when they activate a sparking negate, you are not paying its ener energy cost. And instead, you are taking a life for it. So this card is a counter counter for those type of plays. Which is very cool. The, the very nice thing is that they made this a mono red uh, strict. So... All of your energy has to be mono red. You can't run multicolor. You can't have one green energy or one blue energy. So this makes it so we're not giving essential power to multicolor decks. Um, which if multicolor decks had a way to stop sparking the gates, it would be completely broken. So yeah, this is good. This is this is this is an interesting card. It has a lot of it has a very high level of power, but a very small window for where 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 it's it's, it's actually active because it also has to be energy cost of one so any of the new blocker negates that are coming out in uh evolution booster which uh you can play you can play for free if you're at five or less life uh this doesn't hit those this only hits energy cost of one so it's very very um very specific uh but it is pretty cool actually at main one red if your leader is a red sand you place this card on the owner's drop area play it to one mono red uh Fujita's lineage card with energy cost of three and 10k power or less from your deck Okay, so this allows you to play out. I'm sure there's going to be another Fujita. I oh, know it's mono red. It's mono red. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Because I was going to say there's. I believe there's a there's a Fujita that has something, but uh, uh, Fujita the, the Young Invader, 500 power. Okay, when this card is played, if your life is at four, five or more, and your opponent's leader is a Red King Fujita, place up to one. Wait, what? Why does it say if your opponent's leader? Am I missing something? Okay. Is this a card that you play on your opponent's side? This card is played if your life is at five or, five or more and your opponent's... Your opponent's leader card is a... So this, you you end up playing this on your opponent's side of the board. How do you play this though? Oh, I could have just waited the the last card. <laughs> All right. So you activate this extra card. Field. If your leader is a King Fujita BR. Oh, it's right. He's a BR leader. Interesting. Okay. Okay. At the start of your opponent's turn, play up to one red sand with with, with a. Energy, uh, play up to one red sand with 500 power from your deck to your opponent's battle area and then shuffle your deck if you played a card you can't play battle cards that are red sands for the turn that's useful that's kind of weird though too so you you have to choose if you want to play a card because 
if, if you play a card, you can't play non-Saiyan cards. So you can't play um, Topo, for instance. So you can't play Topo. You can't play... Um, uh, uh, any other... You can't play Yamcha counterplays. You can't play... Uh, um, Beerus, you know, Beerus Rivals. You can't play Cooler Rivals. So it just makes it so you can only play Red Saiyans. And there's not a lot of Red Saiyan in the gates, so it's kind of rough. Activate main once per turn. Add up to one card from your life to your hand. Play up to one Red Saiyan with, your, with a power of 5k from your pow from your deck in rest mode. With the skills negated for the turn for the game. Skills negated for the game. And shuffle your deck. Activate main. Uh, once once per turn, red uh, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and he gets minus five k for the battle for the turn. Sorry. So, this is the first one that we've seen. Hmm. Interesting. So, at the start of your opponent's turn, so the, so you start you start the game with this field spell. Then. Once that hat, once you play this, you play this, and so you play this card, your opponent instantly takes a life. That's really good. It's a very interesting concept. So you play this card, uh, auto, your opponent automatically at the beginning of the game, at the beginning of their turn takes a life. They, they have to crit a life. So they get to draw an extra card. So they get two draws, which I guess is, is okay. It's a good way to balance it out. But they take a life. And if you have uh, the black Bardock that has double strike, that comes in that comes in for free whenever your opponent takes a life from a skill, you play that. <laughs> and then you have a 15k body on board <laughs> at the very beginning of the game. That's hilarious. And once per turn, when one of your cards is attacked, you choose that card and it gets minus 5k for the battle. Wow. So, this is really annoying. Like, this is super annoying for your opponent. I mean, for, for you. Like, because you can't... When, when one of your cards is attacked, this card's just going to minus it. That's really annoying. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm interested to see what this archetype's going to look like. Um, yeah, this is a very cool archetype. Very, very cool archetype. Um, I don't know why they put, you can't include extra cards with end cost two or more. So you, you can only include one cost extra cards. That's just a strange requirement. Um, so the King Vegeta stuff is very interesting. I'm interested to see how this kind of comes comes about. Bardock stuff, um, I'm not really sold. Yet, uh, I know you can play all these guides out for free. The problem is that this leader doesn't draw on the front side. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. But, you're playing cards out, and those cards can draw. I'm sure there's going to be a one drop that just draws you a card. Like, this one's not bad. This is probably your best turn one play. You play this, search top five. Um, so we've seen two of the Bardock of the chain attack cards. I think there's, there's a Shigesh and then, then there probably, then there probably will be a Bardock because this card obviously needs something to evolve into. So this is going to be interesting to see how this works. Um, King Vegeta, very interesting counter counter. It only works for very specific things, but it can be very useful. So something to look out for. And then this whole Young Invaders thing is going to be hilarious. I'm interested to see how, how this archetype is going to look. So, yeah. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below with these cards. I'm going to try and figure out, once we get more of these cards, how this archetype is going to work. I'm very interested to see how this works. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.